SMD diodes are teeny, confusing and everywhere. Today I'll show you how to test ACMD diodes, how to find the anode, the cathode, and check if it is dead or alive, even without a data sheet. Stay to the end and I will show you the first mistake beginners make when testing ACMD diodes. Let's go. So welcome guys to the episode number 9 where you gonna understand how to test ASMD diodes. In this video I'm going to teach you how to test crystal diodes or zener diodes, double diodes with three terminal, normal diodes and also this kind of diodes smaller one. So guys make sure you subscribe hit the bell icon because I'm going to teach you in a daily basis how to test electron component one by one. Our challenge guys as you can see in the thumbnail is testing 1000 components. So let's do it together. So before diving into testing ACMD component, guys, I want just to remember you. When we test this kind of diodes, as you can see here, we called it THT diodes or true hole technology diodes. We find two kinds of values when tested. So by selecting the diode mode, we find that the diodes in the input, as you can see, we get about 500 reading. This one also, for example, look, my friend, about 500. But the diodes in the output, we call it Schottky diodes, we find a lower drop, okay, or a lower reading. Let's check this one, for example, my friend. Do you see? 120. This is a lower drop, so this is Schottky diode. But for the other diodes, high reading means normal diodes. Let's go now and test SMD diodes and find out if they have the same working principle as this kind of diodes or not. Let's begin with this kind of diodes, my friends. Normal diodes, big ones. So for diode, you have always to locate the cathode. Here we have the cathode. Do you see this line here? Means this is the cathode here. So let's check it. Of course, we have to find about 500 rating or 05 drop voltage so let's let's begin by testing this one here okay we have 430 good this one 430 the same okay this one here so here we have the cathode okay the negative terminal in the cathode the positive terminal in the anode we have 460 this is good this is good diodes of course if we swap the probes means the positive terminal in the anode and the negative in the cathode we should not get anything we get up line as you can see okay all of them up line what about the crystal diodes my friends let's find out let's test it right now so guys remember for diodes any kind of diodes if you don't see any voltage ready in both directions means the diode is dead but if you get a continuity or a very low reading zero for example means the diode is shorted this is the rule here the same we should look at the cathode here we have the cathode this black line or even this white line here means cathode anode cathode anode okay so let's check this diode also always by selecting the diode option okay so the black probe in the cathode the red probe in the anode 450 good this one also 400 450 450 good diodes what about this kind of diodes my friends we have here d you see d d this is not a transistor this is a double diode okay double diode with three terminals okay let's check it right now so for this kind of diode my friends let's put one probe here okay and of course here this is the anode of two diodes we have the first diode good here we have the second diode means this double diode is a good one this one also here the first diode 300 
the second diode. So these double diodes are good. But guys, for transistor, just to know, for transistor and MOSFET, you will not get both reading. Let's, for example, look for a transistor here to understand what I'm saying. Here, for example, we have Q. This is a transistor, not a double diode. So guys, we have base collector emitter. Okay, so let's check between collector and emitter like this. We get a reading. Okay, but if I check, we check this side, no reading. Do you see? We get a reading just in one side. Okay, why I, I get a continuity here, guys? Because I, touch, I touch the gate. When you touch the gate, the multimeter inject a little bit current, then I will get the continuity between base and collector. Do you see? But it's not a short. This is means the transistor work perfectly. Alright now guys, let's check this ECMD diode, smaller one. Okay, here we have the cathode, do you see this white mark? Means cathode. For this one, we have a white line, means this is the cathode. For this one, we have a white line here, means this is the cathode. So the first step is to locate the cathode and anode. And of course, we put the black probe in the cathode like this, my friend, and the red probe in the anode, we get a lower drop means this is a short key diode let's take those also this one for example here do you see two handle lower drop this one also two handle means those are short key diodes but for example guys let's find diodes like those that are not short key diodes let's go to the input for example so let's check those for example my friend do you see this one here we have even here plus means this is the anode and here we have the cathode this one also we have plus here means anode cathode so guys one probe here in the anode like this the black probe in the cathode do you see high reading this is normal diode not short key diode we find this kind of diode in the input this one for example also okay also 400 do you see where i put the probes here we have plus the red probe in the plus the black probe here in the cutter attention please my friends we reach the most important part in this video the theory part yes my friends the theory part about diodes are very important without it you will not understand how to test diodes 100 person so make sure you stay tuned to master diode testing so guys for acmd diode it has the same working principle as the normal diode basically it has two terminals cathode and anode or positive terminal and negative terminal and of course it let the current flow just in one direction from anode to cathode and this ECMD diode is used in phones, laptops, tablets, and all modern circuits. That's why it is very important to understand it. And the rule, my friends, is that a good diode, okay, a good diode, my friends, will show 0.2 volts to 0.7 volts drop voltage, okay drop voltage or sometimes in some multimeter like this one you can find 200 ready to 700 ready and when you reverse or you swap probes you should get no reading or ol open line guys this theory is very important guys attention here is the most important so for standard look standard diode the drop voltage should be 0.6 volt to 0.7 volt drop but for shoot key diode The reading or the drop voltage should be lower. So lower 
drop zero to okay drop voltage to 0 0.3 volt drop voltage remember and for zener diode of course all those are ESMD, not THD, but the same working principle. Same as standard diode. Guys, there, there are some mistakes that you have to pay attention. Testing diodes in circuits can give a wrong results due to parallel paths. And also testing diode in resistors or ohm mode rather than diode mode can give you also some errors. Finally, when you twist diode in both direction and you didn't get any reading means the diode is dead. And when you get a short or a low continuity or a low reading zero for example in just one side or two sides means the diode is shorted so guys i hope that you understand how to test smd diodes please comment below which smd component or thd component you want me to test next and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support my daily electronic series. And as I told you, stay tuned because I will teach you how to test all these components and many, many others in a daily basis. So guys, thank you very much and see you with another component.